ajde! Unutra! According to the National Weather Service, at least three tornadoes were reported in Florida Tuesday morning. Several counties in the state closed at school, and the NVS is issued regular watches and warning overnight and Tuesday morning due to severe storm. The storm shook nearby neighborhoods, settled homes and their sites, and flattening mobile homes. In Florida, many schools and government buildings were closed. Some schools in the north, such as parts in Virginia and Maryland, were also planning early days less. Airport in the Midwest and Southeast reported sparkled flight delays and cancellations. Tuesday morning. The governor on Monday activated the Florida State Guard in response to possible severe weather conditions expected across the state. According to the press release from the government office, the storm are associated with a powerful low and associated the cold front bringing potentially damaged winds, coastal flooding, the potential of tornadoes and heavy rain. According to the chief meteorologist, the blow began in the evening and rail expected a peak Tuesday in the Panhandle and continued throughout the Tuesday evening in Peninsula. A powerful storm with a heavy rain and heavy winds Tuesday spawned tornadoes in Florida, ripped roofs and buildings, fell at roofs and collapsed in motorways. While the system reeled throughout the Midwest and the snowstorm is away in the Northeast. In the central U.S., the storm shut down major highways, filling the region with the white clouds and blanket roads with the snow. On Monday, on early Tuesday, on Kansas, highway patrol sponsored more than 100 crashes, 19 of which ended in injuries. In a Boston city, Oklahoma, the emergency management department say it responded to call reported several standing motorists and say all roads were closed. In the Southeast, the National Weather Service confirmed at least three tornadoes in Florida Panhandle, where wind gas of up 106 million hours were reported. The weather service said wind reached 17 million hours and reached baseball side wind south-southeast Alabama and the southwest Georgia during the thunderstorms. The northeast was bracing heavy rain. Last weekend in the region was hit with a massive snowstorm and dumped up to 22 inches of snow in New England. As the storm made of the northeast on Tuesday and rain began in the fall and snow covered areas, and potential for flooding will be widespread, especially in low light. Rare slow cracks and streams. The service is forecasting 1 to 3 inches of rain in New England by Tuesday night. Much of the coast is roost to wind and flooding and wind gusts of up 15 miles per hour are expected. Meteorological areas such as New York City, Washington and Philadelphia are forecast to get more than an inch of rain. In the early hour of morning, Northern California was struck by a powerful tornado, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. The tornado, which formed expected lay a tour through the several countries, approached trees, damaged homes and disrupted the lives of thousands. The National Weather Service was reported that the tornado reached with speed up to 115 miles per hour, classified in the ef 3 on the Enhanced Fuji scale. This level of intensify is a rail for the region at the cut of many residents by Grad. Despite the state's familiarity with the extreme weather event, emergency services were quick to respond launching rescue operations in the hardest hit era. The governor of Florida declared a state of emergency, mobilized additional resources to aid the recovery force. Despite this swift action, the tornado left its active impact on the community.
The damage was extensive in some neighborhoods home were completely destroyed it leaving families without shelters. Power lines were damaged caused widespread electricity outage and complicating rescue to recovery force. Schools and businesses in the affected areas were closed with authority urging people to stay indoor to avoid the debris littered streets. The human cost on the tornado is still being easy. Several injuries have been reported the authority fear that the deal toll may rise on the search and rescue operations continue. The community has been deploy shaking with the many describing the events in the nightmare come to life. Admit the chaos, stories and heroism of community spirit where have emerged. Neighbors have been helping each other with the cleanup efforts and local businesses are provided support to those affected. Shelters have been set up to those who have been lost their homes and donations are pouring in from across the state. Meteorologists are studying the conditions that led to formation of the tornado, keeping the gain and seeing that means help predict such events in the future. Meanwhile, climate experts are pouring in the incidents as stuck reminder of the changing weather patterns of the increasing frequency of extreme weather events. As northern Florida begins in the long process of recovery, the resilience for its people shines through. The tornado may have left a scar of landscape, but the spirit of community remains unbroken. This event severe a testament for the unpredictability of nature and the importance to preparedness and solidarity with the face of disaster. The community spirit they seen in the tireless force volunteers and neighbors helping one another have been a serial lens in this tragic event. The aftermath of the tornadoes has sparked a discussion about preparedness to respond to such natural disaster. Questions are by rent about effectiveness of warn system to need the better infrastructure to withstand such weather storm. Florida, no stranger to extreme weather, has always had robust emergency plans to be unprecedented nature of these tornadoes has tasted this system to their limit. Climate experts suggest that these events could become more frequent and severe due to climate change. The warming of the ocean and atmosphere contribute to more volatile weather patterns, making events like this more lively. This has led to call for more action on the climate change, both on the local and global level. The economic impact of the tornadoes is expected to be significant. A part of the inundated dimension, property and infrastructure, the long-term effect of businesses and tourists are vital parts of the Florida's economy, are yet to be fully understood.